How are you all doing? Ralph here, Ralphie Customs. Um, we're on to another vlog. Uh, as you will know if you've been following me, I've just done some paintwork, a bit of a restoration job on the front end for the XJ900 trike that I did a load of work on earlier this year for my friend Johnny Papp. So lots of love, Johnny. Um, we're changing the front end. Well, he is. I'm just helping him, I guess. I'm doing the making it pretty and making it fit. It's my uh, memo, like my spec. So let's go and have a look, see how the painting turns. <laughs> Paintwork, which is not something I, I do a lot of if I can help it, but we've got his forks, discs, wheel, all got to be stripped and painted gloss black. Um, there's an axle somewhere with uh, speedo drive and bits and bobs on, so that is my Monday morning's jolly into the inner sanctum of the booth. And it's nice and shiny black, it was rough as fuck. Beautiful forks, the discs are down there out of the way. Ooh. Lovely, and the wheel is uh, still wrapped, still mac maxed up, <laughs> but shiny black, it was rough as fuck, it really was. So, that's gonna look nice when we get it all back together. Really? The uh, brief for today is to get this finished for our pool, and you can't really see because I've stripped it all out, but we've got the standard seat lock fits there. Well, the lock fits there, but the release key mechanism fits there. And there's a tray that bolts under with an LED lighting that's here. And a separate number plate bracket and light there, which I'll get on and show, it, show you in a bit when I've done these uh, indicator brackets, which is my last little brief on this. So, I've cut myself some flat bar and drilled myself some oils ready for his little indicators. So, quite nifty, aren't they? Um, and I've got what I do is uh, this is a mounting bolt. So, this is what I'm going to use to mount these. Um, I've fit them on, it's a bit difficult one I did. But the bolt on the brackets I'm going to use bolt on this bolt. I hold them in captive with two nuts, and then we go over to the bike, and we can tack them on where we want them to go, and then we can use the bolt to check to make sure they're straight and not too uppy downy or lefty righty. So uh, that's what I'm on with right now. So I did mean to get in shot. I'm going to show you those brackets because they're over here a lot on the bench and I've just drilled them out on the pillar drill. With this uh, ongoing project of frozen in time, is this, this is a little tripod that I use for filming and this is ready to be uh, screw cut the thread. I've just got to get into the dark arts and I know that between these gears and two or three that are already in there, I can make it cut 8 TPI according to the sheet, which is inside the lid here, 8 TPI, and there we go, screw 32B, so that's this top one, 32B as far as I know, it might be that one actually, I don't know, I'll look proper and work it out, it does show, here's that bottom one to screw, 32B, and off we go, change those gears over, but firstly I need to get a screenshot um, or take a photo and make notes to see what it's on now so I can put it back when I've finished, don't I? Otherwise we won't be using the power feed. It'll be travelling too fast and we'll get a rough as fuck. I'll call it On His Master's Voice because the early chronographs um, used the tube, didn't they? They used a cylinder and there was a spiral cut into it that made the sound and that's kind of what you're doing if your feed's too uh, fast 
for your tooling and your, your um, revs per minute for your feet per second on the old spinny rounder. That's the indicator mounted. Six. See how I've um, scalloped out the shape to the front edge of the bracket there to blend in. I've tried to keep it all really snug, as snug as I can. It's all not quite tight, but you can see where it sits and it bolts. And they bolt. There's two little bolts under there that I'm going to struggle to pick up on. To hold it at this end, and it bolts through the framework that end. Seat lock, bolts on, catches the seat. So I use the original latching this part because it's good enough for Triumph, it's good enough for me. That bolts again from underneath, and then the lock sits in there with a key, little key from there. You just get to it as and when. I've not got the key, that's the issue. So I'm showing you this because once you get a seat on, it's alright have to get it off without the key. I'll get a back light bit on and the seat on and uh, have a so, look. Here we go. Seat on, tank on. Rear number plate. This um, this took out a fucking mile on the standard mounting so I've, I've moved it, tucked it up. Let's see the uh, seat lock look sliding under there. The indicators sit well. And all in all, she's a beauty, isn't she? Imagine her coming by you at 100 mile an hour on the back wheel. Because that's what's going to happen. So, this is one of the wheel spindle spacers. The wheel spindle spacers. This is one of the wheel spacers out of the sports stuff that I've just done. I'm just checking alignment and fine tuning. And I need to make one a little bit longer, about four mil longer, just to satisfy me. So. It'd be alright without it, I guess, but you know, I'm just going to uh, face this off and pour it out to 19 mil. And, uh, well, three quarters, and the job should be a good one. So, it shouldn't be too far out because <coughs> this is actually the piece of steel that I make here original space is out of and it's still as I left it I've not used it for another job so just freshening it up um, I think we're gonna have to go in with a little pilot hole little pilot hole 10 mil 10 mil pilot hole and I know let's do a bit of maths here let's work it out I'm gonna set that uh, to 10 mil, mark the tail stop in my head at 10 mil, and just gonna put a rule over the end and get about up to it. So here we go. Look, it's just pinching it at 10 mil. Now this one is 23 mil, and I'm making 27. Let me double check. The wrong size, isn't it? 23 mil. 0 0.9, 0 0.9 of an inch is 23 mil. So we'll make it 27. So I know that if I go, if I take this drill in 30 mil, that'll clean it off. By the time I've parted it off, um, I'll still be through. I'll still have my mil through the centre. So let's do that. So, the first 10 is already clear, 14, 16, and now we're just on, so, 
27.30, we started on 10, we want this to read 40, which is there, one mark for good luck, that's that, and now we slowed it down, and we're coming through with a 19. All the way until we feel it bottom out. Looking well. And there we go, that's bottomed out. Just lean on it to make sure. And the jobs are good at that. And now we'll put a chamfer on. To match the one that we made and just break that edge the bearing tool deburring tool you'd say and we're ready to part off we'll switch over to the parting tool and we said 27 millimeters don't we so, we know what I'm doing now is feeling the edge. I can tell that that's flush. When I touch the roll on the job, I can see whether the, this tool is lifting it off or not. Um, and then I can set the digital, digital, fucking hell it's not digital. I can set my dial to touch on a zero and then I can wind it down 27 mil. This has got 30 mil of travel, so we're in we're in there, aren't we? So I'll tighten that up. Set the dial to zero and count off 27. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Round to seven. Quick sanity check to make sure. Yep. And we're good to go. If I put it in gear. I've just locked the cross slide. Sorry, the bed. Lock the bed. And away we go. Plenty of oil when we're parting. Someone said to me, You can't have too much oil when you're parting, so I'll have plenty of it to get in there. You see the chips coming off, lovely. Nice and smooth. I think we're about there now, so use the handle. Just break that through. Any minute now. There we go. Sorted. So we'll just clean the end of this up. Put a chamfer on it the same as you've already seen me do. And that's that. Just run it round. I'm just going to unlock the carriage. And uh, put that back where it belongs. Change over to the chamfer tool, which I don't normally keep my tools in the tray, but because I'm filming, <coughs> they're quicker to grab. And uh, put a quick chamfer on. Go, chip, go straight down my neck. Safety third. There we go. That is one slightly bigger spacer. That spacer's done and then change the well droopy lock. It's not even a full chain. We're gonna have to clamp that when we look to good do the chain guard. Um and droopy handlebars, obviously that's not staying like that. Next up for this is uh we've got a conversion, it's got a later model front end in that someone's put together with a forks back to front lock because the uh, 
caliper goes on the back and on the other side. Well, there you go. But we've got a conversion kit. Um, I managed to put Stephen onto Cycle Enterprises or Cycle Haven, Jeff Cycle Haven. And he's managed to sort out the bearings to put the later model front end in the early frame. Let me go and show, I'm name dropping, and I'm not, let's have a look. Consult the article. Cycle Enterprises, Jeff. If you need any shit for your eye, give him a ring. Big up Jeff, sorted him out a treat. So, <clears throat> that's going to be next week. Tomorrow, for my Friday job, we've got our Ben's breakout. This took residence because the list of job and waiting for bits and everything is a bit fluid with this. And we are going to change the handlebars, which is a fucking job in itself. He's putting some apes on it, so I've got to change the cables. Uh, hopefully the wiring that he's got, the extended kits, he's got a kit, hopefully that'll fit. We'll see. That's tomorrow's jolly on the old breakout, isn't it? So as a final thing for today, we've had the pleasure of stripping out the uh, change gears in the old Atlas to do that screw cutting for the project that I'm videoing. Part one's already up. And if, you'll, if you've seen it, you'll know this is actually number two, because no matter what, it's a number one. I cut the, uh, the <coughs> I cut the taper in this face wrong. I cut it on the wrong end. There's a uh, there's a cut out. There's a relief that sits on first, and then the taper's on the front. This would be the front when it's done. But I did it the other way around. Anyway, <coughs> there you go. So I've stripped them out, and what I've done, I've laid them down how they came out of the machine. And I've given myself notes, look, so I can put it back together how it is. Now, I'm on to the uh, dark arts, look. I need to find this eight. Eight threads per inch. And on the screw, we need a 32B. And then position B, F, and B, F. Oh, position D, back and front, C, back and front, nothing. And so on and so forth. So wish me luck. Hopefully, you'll see me do it on the video, or you'll see me say I couldn't do it, and I've had to take it somewhere and get it at eight. 1.5 inch by eight thread cut inside, but I don't think that'll happen. Let me and spin there you. There you go. That's it. Bit of a quick vlog, or vlog. Um, I hope you like it. It's just a day, you know, just done a few bits on the Triumph, did a little bit of turning on the Sports Star, chilled out, did the socials. Now I'm going to, hopefully, God, wish me fucking luck. I'm going to get this uh, change gears all right and do an 8 TPI. Watch out for the uh, Atlas Spindle Protector Part 2. And you'll see the uh, results of my endeavours. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Press the bell. There's a bell down there so you get alerts when I put new ones up. It really means a lot to me when I see the likes and the comments. And I'll try to get back to as many as I can. It's fantastic. Thank you so much for the love and support that I've been shown. And big love to everyone in my community. All the links are down there. I'm not going to shout them all out, but I will put links to Outlaw Edge, DG Retro, NZ Mopar, Mikey Knight, who the fuck is Wayne Reynolds, if I can find him, whoever he is. And last but never least is uh, Joey Collins. Big love, Joey at Mill Creek Fab, go and check them all out, give them a like, give them a sub. If you like a video of theirs, please leave a comment saying it came from Ralphie Customs. It really helps us know that networking's working and our little community is growing and everything's uh, sweet. So big love, see you soon, don't get lost or stolen.